Right. <clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Trek Let's Play. Now what I'm going to be doing is basically showing the um, Oblivion Phaser set in this. Just to, um, you know, to show you how good it is and such like that. Now with this set, I have got this up um, a little bit more powerful compared to what I did with the digi yeah, digital set. And the, um, I stop on that, did you hear that? <clears throat> my voice cracked. Yeah, no, truth of the matter is I'm just getting over a cold and uh, it's um, impacting my voice and such. In my way of thinking, but anyway, get back on track. Yeah, I'm just basically going to be showing off the um, um, Oblivion Phasers um, sets that I got. Obviously, the torpedoes have nothing to do with the um, phase set. You, this one you get for free, and you used to get this one for free, but now you have to get it from the uh, token store or of Mud Store, one of the two. The Oblivion set, you well, you can obviously get from the um, boxes set, well, the new lock box that you got now, and such like that. Although, if you want to get them over the um, over the exchange, they would cost you mm, a fair price, but not a lot compared to like some of the rare ones. But um, yes, yeah, so I will be using this one. Now you already seen this one in action uh, with the other face sets and that. But I thought you know give this one a shot with this and see how she performs. So let's get her set. And I think the best mission to get her set up on is on the event mission because that will be a lot more quicker. I know you've seen this so many times, like Jupiter, um, I can't even, Irrit, Irratus, however you pronounce that, I can't even pronounce it. But anyway, I know you've seen that so many times and such, but hey, look on the bright side, it's better than seeing the bald ones over and over again. Like I said, not that I mind the bald one. Now, like I said about this face set, it's not fully upgraded, but it is a lot more better than the digital set that I got. Digital set, digitizer set. Yeah, we all go in digital, baby. We all went there a long time ago. The Terrans will be here soon. Engage. We've been working finally. Uh, one thing I will say, um, this ship here is actually quite um, a nice ship to have. If you are lucky to even get it and such, it's definitely worth having because it is quite a good ship. And yeah, it's basically a space yacht, but it's still a good ship. And I like it, really. I still need to upgrade the um, obviously the um, duty officers and such like that. So obviously I still got much to do with this character, but she is um, she is improving quite a hell of a lot and such. Oh, I better actually power this up. Oh, that took that shield down quite like that. Ah, oh, these um. Oh, wait a minute, these phases work similar to the pulse phases. Okay. Don't get me wrong, I do like the pulse phases and that, but I was hoping for it to be a little bit different, but there's only so much I can do with the phase set, I suppose. I mean, yeah, the colours are a little bit more darker, so it definitely says it's from a alternate universe. I'm not disappointed in the fact that it's pulsing and such that. Because it is doing a good job thus far. Oh. I definitely say it does well when it takes down the um, shields. And it goes through the ships like anything as well. I know the other players are actually helping out there, but... Yeah, it's doing a good job. And this is on a... What's it, only on an easy setting? I will have to try it out on a normal setting. But obviously, I didn't expect it to be this good, being honest. I just expect it to be um, not as powerful. Because the last time I had sets that were phaser sets, and that, um, it didn't end up um, being so strong compared to my other sets. I think the only phaser set I had that was strong was the fleet phasers. But it's definitely good when you actually can use the um, oh phaser overlord, overlord, overload. Jesus Christ! I'm messing up with my words today. I mean, look at that! It's just taking it down like anything. I mean, yeah, that's a data thief, but yeah, it's taking it down a hell of a faster. And even this one, it's t knocking down the um, ship's um, hull down, especially when you broadside it and let the whole lot go. Mind you, I got lucky in getting the um, 
Oh, the Oblivion Phaser arcs. I was like, wow, that's lucky. Because usually I don't get lucky in that area. Usually I just get, you know, your average phaser beams and that. And it was like, nope, you've got an arc. And I was like, yes. It only offers you the option of the beams or a rifle. But other than that, yeah. I think that was it, really, between the two. But I think that's fair because I think the Oblivion sets was meant for the, like, the, um, oh, the Enterprise, um, in that universe from the, um, Star Trek Picard. I'm tempted to go over to the Jupiter Station, but it's like, Jupiter Station? I'm intended to go over there, but I don't want to leave here and need this vulnerable. But, no, I think the other players have got it covered there. I still love that noise. Um, it's the like almost like a phonium web noise. I'm not sure what ship is doing that, but yeah. Oh, I've got Voyager backing me up, so that's why. Our you know what? I can't stand here and just let the others do all the hard work. Okay, maybe I can. Yeah, they're actually here um, kicking some serious butt over there. Hey, can't you just open up a few rifts over here? Give me some extra... Oh, well, yeah, thanks. As soon as I go, yeah. You know, I should be careful what I wish for. Oh, I'm so glad that my voice is flat, because yesterday I found it hard to talk. I was like... Yeah, I just couldn't even talk like this. Put it that way. My throat was sore, my head was sore, my eyes were like burning and everything. I was like, oh my god, I can't even look at the screen. And this morning I woke up with my legs just almost being... It was almost like if I was in a drunk state. And I haven't even been drinking, it was like, oh god, something's taking me off of my legs. Yeah, the, the overload um, is actually quite good to have, the beam overload. It's always handy to have those, no matter what beam set you use. Now, obviously, she's going to appear there. Still here, Ugh. I, our was I still love this music. I don't, like I don't care how many times I say it, I still love it. They have been getting better with the music, I will say that for this game. I also like the fact that they try and keep a balance of between the. Like, you know, of the Star Trek, you've got like the original Star Trek, the TNG, and then you've got like the newer ones, and etc, etc. So, it's it's nice that they're trying to keep the balance. And trying to please as much of the fandom as possible. Oh, shit! That's never happened before! That was because I wasn't paying attention. That would teach me a lesson. So, yeah, that was my noobish mistake. Damn, I'm disappointed in myself there. The Enterprise is going for Projector Alpha. Wait. Oh, it's over there. Are you kidding me with this? My ships make me invincible. Give up on me. Shut up, bitch. It really takes down the um, shield ships quite easily. Because I remember my ships used to um, struggle on this one. Except for the main character one. Obviously, he's OP. Wait, I tell a lie. I think um, my Sephora one is more... OP than anything else, because I don't know what I've done with her, but she seems to be OP as anything. Not as OP compared to the girls, but still OP enough. Might be a help when you experiment with um, all sorts of things. She's going to appear right there. And I will be waiting as she comes out. Yep. Oh, of course, that that's, um, also drains away. Yeah, I forgot, because that's why um, CL said about me using that. She said, use that and another one as well. Uh oh. See if I can get them to fight each other. You know 
Well done. Done. Oof. Apart from that uh, minor explosion that happened with me, I say it went kind of well. But yeah, that was all on me on that term explosion part, so... Because of what it was, I was not um, paying attention and such. But anyway, my thoughts on the Oblivion phases. I would say they're pretty good. I would say they're no different than your Pulse phases in some way. Um, I would definitely say Pulse phases and Oblivion phases are both, you know, as good as each other. Just different colour. So I would definitely say, are they worth getting? Yes, they are worth getting if you want a good phaser set. And you want something with nice pulsating effects. So yes, yeah, definitely worth but I would definitely say they are, they are not that much different compared to your regular phases, I would say. Because when you have a good phaser set, well, it's like with any weapon set. When you have a good weapon set, you know, you could take down um, almost anything with those. But I'd definitely say, yeah, if you are interested in getting this um, Oblivion set and such, I would definitely say go for it, you know. Definitely give it a shot. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed what I've done so far. Look forward to doing more of this with you. Till next time, you all, you all take it easy and peace out.